what is going on guys it is your girl janiqua a and i am back with another reading for you guys if no one told you guys today i love you and i know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do so let's tap in and see what you need to know archangel michael and allegra please protect me protect my mind my body and my spirit clear all my chakras as we tap in to what my everything needs to be excited about this week okay what they should be looking forward to this week when it comes to their blessings let's go <laughs> wow you've been waiting all right you i'm yo you know what i heard i'm so sorry this is only i'm not even sorry the hangman is a time of stillness it's Neptune energy. So this is your current situation at hand. Definitely requires you to plan according to your dreams. It's all about being focused on making your dreams come true and how you are envisioning yourself and taking a step back and seeing what you want, observing the situation and seeing if this is something that you want to pursue. It is a time of stillness and I'm just feeling like this is not a time of delay for you. You are watching something. And I'm getting you. And you know how I always say you should never get excited or not even excited. Because sometimes it calls for excitement. But you should never be waiting around for somebody to get their karma. Like I'm big on it. I'm big on like give it to God. Whatever somebody do, for, do to you. And it's wrong and you've been moving right all right karma will always spin a block all right you may not know when but it's not up it's not for you to know when all right you shouldn't be waiting around wanting to see somebody do bad or get some sort of karma you should be focusing on yourself and having faith that they're going to get theirs all right but it's, it's it's your responsibility to grow from that but what you guys or should be getting excited about this week is that your ass is gonna finally see and you are gonna finally get the chance to get excited about watching somebody receive their karma you have it's like you comfortable in that position you're not it's, it's something it's going to happen where you are going to be sitting back, relaxing, and watching finally somebody receive karma for what they've done to you. <laughs> Literally, hangman, observing, all right, observing. All right, so if y'all was. The collective I was talking about, like, don't, you shouldn't be waiting around. You know what I'm saying? Well, this is, this is, this is your time. All right. This is your time to get excited because you are about to watch. Ooh, oh, the devil card. Oh my gosh. You are about to watch this devil get they fucking karma finally and for a lot of you guys you it's something about you just being deserving of finally watching this because for a lot of guys you thought it would never come a lot of guys probably for some of you guys you probably forgot about certain situations <laughs> but karma never forgets this person literally caused hell in your life this person was the catalyst of your spiritual awakening and this is how i know you are not somebody that was waiting around and you know hoping and praying for somebody to receive their karma or somebody something bad to happen is because this hangman is you being at a place mentally and your ascension to observe karmic energy, to observe negative energy, to observe toxic energy and things you have no business dealing with. All right. And that comes through a process of analyzing. It comes 
through a process of observation. So you've been learning. You've been, you know, listening. You haven't been making impulsive moves. You've been being a good student, staying in place, holding your position. Okay, so let me tell y'all, y'all about to watch. And literally, you guys should be excited about you being able to watch literally. I don't know how you're going to be able to do this, but this is spiritual. These two cards are very spiritual, all right? The hangman, you know, the death card is right after the hangman, okay? This person literally, eh, this is just a long time overdue. You know, a lot of people deserve consequences for their actions. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things that was done to you by this devil you know, it was really harsh. It was really mean. All right. It was really unnecessary. And it was really dark with really, really dark intentions. This even could have been just a hidden enemy. Something that played, somebody that played like they was an ally to you. The whole time, they were really, really fucked up towards you in a relationship. All right. Friendships, family, plus uh, anything. y'all and this was a major lesson like you needed to clear up some karmic debt this is sad and energy so right now with this hangman as you watching somebody finally get they get in a karma all right somebody is also stuck in a very dark place Oh my gosh, the will of fortune. Y'all, you should get, you are to be excited about something finally going in your favor. Something, the will finally turning in your favor. It's like you finally being seen for who you are. Something finally, something that you did made such a drastic impact that you are finally being heard somehow. I'm hearing two, it's always two sides to the story and then there's a the truth. For a lot of you guys, you already knew somebody was going to receive their coma. All right? For a lot of you guys, you already knew that the things that somebody put you through or the things that you went through with somebody, you already knew how their karma was coming. You just didn't know when. All right. A lot of you guys chose not to overreact when it comes to going hard and explaining or justifying what somebody's saying about you. Like a lot of you guys... We're so tapped in with this hangman energy. All right. You guys were so confident that this person will have their day. It's like every dog has his day. You know what I'm saying? And it's like the things that you experienced with this person, you just knew every dog has his day. And for a lot of you guys and it's hangman energy, y'all went through some sort of spiritual awakening. So certain things don't re re um, require your time. You starting to know how people harvest energy when you feed back to them. So it's just certain things that you just not willing to sacrifice because you already know about how dark energy move and operate. So this dog is having his day. Things have turned in your favor. You are growing and expanding in some form of personal and spiritual development. Knowing how to see things for what it actually is instead of being in such an illusion. 
having to stop yourself at times when you're going too fast and living in a fantasy world and stepping out of that fantasy world for a moment and seeing reality. Okay? Things are changing. Something is prepared this week. Something is going in your favor. You are being sent. It's like you're not about to keep defending yourself when you know you're right. You know you're not, you're not about to keep defending yourself against evil. You know what I'm saying? You're not about to keep allowing evil people opinions and evil, pe evil motives to affect you no more. As long as you know what's good and evil, as long as you know the results of somebody's actions that create good and evil, as long as you know the truth from the lies, you don't have to validate, defend, or feel like you have to react to certain things. Because you know when the truth come out, baby, oh, it's coming out big. You hear me? This was a situation where you just knew one day the truth will come out. You just knew one day. A lot of you guys probably forgot about certain stuff. A lot of you guys probably don't even care about certain things. But that's the thing about karma. You probably forgot about it. It probably don't even mean shit to you no more. Oh, but... You are going to witness somebody's karma. The will has turned in your favor. You are being seen as the enlightened one. You are being seen as the one that speaks truth. You are being seen as the one that don't budge. Okay. So something is turned, the will of fortune. And for a lot of you guys, the will of fortune, these are three spiritual cards that deals with fate and bad luck and karma and good luck. All right. The will of fortune deals with fate. It deals with test and seeing if you stop a repetitive pattern or you have the ability to be aware of a repetitive pattern that is negative. And make changes. And if you don't, fate will play out like it's just the results of your actions. The devil is literally sad and meaning there were things intentionally put on somebody's path to intentionally tempt them to be greedy. You know, the devil comes in to be the villain. And the devil comes in to be the villain to teach you how to keep a commitment of truth. Because if you don't get tempted by evil, how you are going to know or how you're going to be put in a situation to enforce justice. All right. So, again, the devil, Capricorn energy also. There were things, the person that you are witnessing, their karma, like you got front row seats, you, you relaxing, watching everything unfold because you knew it would happen. All right. This person was going after, they were so greedy that they thought what they thought was a blessing was actually tempting them into making a decision that they had a chance to make what's right. Like they was somebody was presented with a decision that they know morally was supposed to be judged the right way. Somebody was intentionally tempted to do the wrong thing, basically. The devil comes in to intentionally try to tempt you to do the wrong thing to test your character and your integrity and knowing what you're not supposed to do
Okay? So this person fell for the bait. This person fell for the bait. This person got tempted by a situation that was sent in to literally do just that. And they literally were supposed to realize that was a test from God for something bigger and to reject whatever that was being told to them to do and to reject that because that was the integrity that was supposed to be kept to receive a big blessing. That was a way of God being able to trust you when it comes to a big opportunity with a lot of money attached to it or a certain material harvest attached to it and your integrity, knowing right from wrong. Because less, the, the, the lessons from Saturn is real harsh. But let me tell you, the blessings are even bigger when you learn a lesson. You hear me? When you're not tempted by, by lust, greed. Okay? Somebody, somebody failed the test. The will of fortune is all about tests being passed. And do-overs. You having to do over a cycle or a season because you didn't pass a test. All right, somebody money is going to switch. Somebody is going through somebody is gonna go through a major financial setback for being so greedy. Because somebody did something for money with this Capricorn energy, um, that they knew what they wasn't supposed to do. They knew right from wrong. They literally knew right from wrong. All right, and because they didn't have self discipline over that greedy part of them wanting like for some of you guys they did this because they just wanted more they wanted access they didn't need it they wanted access so that was temptation right there failed okay they didn't even need it because what they really needed what what they did need was gonna come after they made the choice to not fall into the trap of temptation and greed. And what they really need and the reason behind that fucked up action, they would have got bigger if they would have kept their integrity and made the right decision because they knew better. They knew better. This is somebody that knew better. And that's why you just, I'm getting every dog cast is they. Because whatever that they done, it was out of greed. All right, and it's looking like you are spiritual. All these cards are spiritual. You hear me? Oh, and also for you, the hangman, observing how you was attached to certain um, ways of income, how you were attached to certain toxic traits of um, character. All right, so you did the work, child. You are literally about to witness the downfall of somebody that knew better and going against you or knew better and making a choice that was supposed to keep you behind in some sort of way. Oh my gosh, the Queen of Wands. There it go. Tower destroyed. So... There is, you are about to witness the fall. You are about to witness this queen of wands be dethroned. All right. This is a feminine energy in your life that always try to compete with you, compete with your life, compete with your um, hobby, compete with your careers. They wanted to seem like they was always doing better to you. This person always wanted the spotlight. They were very jealous of your talents and, you know, your ability to magnetize and attract. This is somebody that was me, 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 me. And I want to be looked at. And I want to be given all the rewards. And I want to be this. And I want to be that. And if you don't give me attention, then I'm going to cause hell. Is what this Queen of Wands energy is giving me. And they tried. Um, and a, and somebody that is in this Queen of, uh, Queen of Wands energy. With this dark. 
this dark energy around it. Um, this is somebody that is gullible. This is somebody that loved the spotlight. They loved the fame. They loved the popularity so much that they were easily tempted to do something that involved them destroying somebody else's life or they were willing to do anything that was going to keep them in a position of looking like they were the successful one. And that's a dangerous person. All right. Somebody was just not willing to share the attention. Queen of Wands. All right. It was always a competition with you dressing. The Queen of Wands loved to be beautiful. She is beautiful. She is. And that's one of the major things that the Queen of Wands and the Tarot deck got to realize. That you don't have to compete all the time. That it's not always a competition that you could share. You could share the spotlight. You know, just because somebody come in that you find equally attractive, that don't mean they trying to come and steal the spotlight. You know, and that that's a big thing that somebody is about to learn because they're about to receive karma and somebody is de dethroned. You are about to witness the karma of a feminine energy in your life. That was tempted to do something that they knew they wasn't supposed to do just to receive more attention than you, just to be at a higher level than you, just to be looked at as somebody that was doing better than you. They were in competition with you, if you didn't notice. It was something about how you were able to create that they were fearful of you surpassing them in. The tower has fell. Shit hit the fan. All right? Shit hit the fan. Expect this week to be filled with a lot of animosity. All right? I'm seeing animosity. All right? Because somebody and whatever that they narrative or whatever that they was building on, all right, or whatever that they wanted to be seen as, it's been destroyed. All right, somebody, whole foundation. This could even be arguing in the house. This could be arguing outside. This could be everything just being flipped upside down and being destroyed. Because somebody chose to do something that they knew better not to do because of greed. Easily tempted, not having self-discipline. Overwriting what's wrong. Wanting to have access. Wanting to be seen. As somebody that has everything, but not even praying for the wisdom to know what to do with it. Not be not praying for the peace of mind that code goes along with so much money. All right. They just want she just wanted money. She she felt powerful money. All right. Because she she she, she when she had the money, all right, she will only do things to people that she felt was less intelligent. That shit blown up in her face, whoever she is in your life. Okay? Literally, shit has hit the fan. All right? This person, also the Queen of Wands, is very popular. They're very popular for getting a job done. They're very popular for their passion. They're very popular in going after their dreams and being a dream chaser. Chaser. Somebody has lost, I'm hearing somebody has lost followers. Somebody has lost a certain amount of people that used to believe in them and used to be inspired by them. Something has came out, all right, that has completely knocked this person off of their position. Spirit, give me more on this energy, please, and thank you.
For some of you guys, you could have worked together with this person. For some of you guys, you might have grown up watching this person work with this hangman. And for a lot of you guys, when as you grown up, right, because it's looking like you chose another path, all right, a more kind of like spiritual one with this hangman, you know, ob observing, going deeper. Um, a lot of you guys started to become awakened to what this person was really doing for work. You started to awaken to how lazy somebody was and how willing somebody was to, how, how far somebody was willing to go to tarnish other people's name to get recognition. That's already telling you that somebody don't have no magnetism. You start to be aware of the things that you used to be inspired about was actually a, all, all a fake. All right, you're starting to realize a lot of things about somebody, y'all. A lot of things about somebody, the lack of. You know how you go out with a friend or you go into business with a friend or you just have a friend and you always felt like they were jealous or they would say certain things or they would like kind of like not celebrate you but celebrate you. You know that feeling where you feel like this person is jealous of you but you don't want to be overreacting. And then after analyzing them, you find out they were the hidden enemy all along. Wow. Y'all, this is like nothing but major arcana cards. You only got one court card out here. And this is the Queen of Wands going through this tower moment. Everything is major arcana card. This is an unpreventable disaster this is a unpreventable situation that is destroying something for good and it also affects others that was in this foundation with them or whoever probably For some of you guys, I can't even say that because it's not even nobody else out here. So for some of you guys, all right, that's all them. You know, karma is simply the results of your actions, not nobody else's. You are you are the only one responsible for how you react. That's your responsibility. So this person can't even pin. This person has to face this tower and take accountability. Somebody has to face these consequences alone because they made the judgment call to do something wrong alone okay so i can't even say that yeah this caused a lot of problems okay this person has caused a lot of problems from their greed all right with this five of wands it's looking like they got so much people involved Okay. It's like you are about to watch somebody get done dirty by karma in the universe. The universe is about to finish somebody because of all of the intentional destruction and chaos they was causing out of greed. All right. They literally was getting people riled up. You hear me? Going against each other, fighting, and making it seem like they were the powerful one. Y'all, there is so much fighting and so much chaotic energy around this feminine energy in your life. Literally, they all wishing, they, they can't stop this. This is unpreventable chaos that is happening around them 
because of their action to go against what they knew wasn't right. They knew better. They knew the outcome of their decision would be the five of wands. Oh my gosh, two of pentacles. They didn't plan things to go this way. For a lot of you guys, they were juggling a lot, all right? For some of you guys, they were really finding it challenging to find balance in their finances or income or a certain career or industry. Somebody also, all right, somebody also strategically weighed out every financial option and opportunity that they can receive out of doing something that they knew better not to do. You know, the Two of Pentacles is a change happening in your money. They were desiring and desperately wanting to get out of some financial rut that they was finding it hard to get out of. Out of and the reason why they because they look there look what they doing for money I'm pretty sure you was not the first person that they've tried to do this to but I bet it would be the last I bet you it will be the last somebody was literally contemplating on every avenue and opportunity that this situation presented them they knew it was wrong but they like fuck it it's attached to a certain amount of money that will get me up out of debt so i'ma risk it all because i have or what they thought was chances more chances to get this to have to go my way So that's how you know somebody made the conscious decision to act in this matter and pursue this action. All right? And they know it was that wrong. They knew it was that wrong. They knew that it was going to cause a lot of chaos. But because somebody was in debt and going through a lot in, in Because somebody felt like their foundation was breaking down. Because somebody felt like something was being destroyed. And right in front of their eyes. Somebody chose to literally go against their faith, their integrity. And something they knew wasn't right. And that would start this chaos. Just because they had better odds. Or what they thought they had better odds in, in winning or getting this money. It would it would have they you know and whoever this person is was thinking very short term. Because this person was just thinking about how can they get out of a financial situation at the moment. They weren't thinking about what lessons or what is needed to be learned. In order to keep money, what did they spend on? What could they cut back on? Somebody literally was just thinking short term and thinking how can they do anything? They were willing to do anything and very desperate to get them out of a situation for the time being. And they didn't really realize how that decision is affecting them in the long run. Look. The world card. There is no more room for chances. You know, you know, God don't give a fuck about the mistakes. 
You can have tons of mistakes. You can make tons of mistakes. But the corrections, God don't play about. Because you can make tons of mistakes as long as you're correcting them. But if you keep making mistake after mistake, knowing damn well you're not supposed to do something, keep allowing money or a fucked up financial situation to make you do stupid shit, then you have to face your consequences. You know what I'm saying? You have to. Everybody else does. It is no room for negotiation. I'm getting like, you know how like a gate, like you pull a gate down, like a gate that you pull down from like an auto shop. I'm getting like somebody having time to change and correct their mistake. And they literally waited too long and the gate shut to where now you just going to have to deal with the consequences. And that's not saying you're not ever going to grow from that. But right now, oh, somebody about to go through consequences. Like I'm talking about major consequences. Because God gave them time. Yo, damn. All right, so Spirit, I think that this is pretty clear. You know, the world card is representing you, you understand the major life lessons and learning all of the major and necessary lessons everybody need to go through and experience and learn in life in order for you to progress here in this world in this lifetime so you get the full card to the world card the world card is the last card out of the tarot deck so it's either you get to pass on to the next chapter of your life or do you need to repeat a test and a couple of tests because you just simply wasn't studying. You just simply wasn't taking things serious. So the opportunity is closed for them to make this right. The damage was already severely done with this tower. They already caused severe damage. With this five of wands and tower, they already caused enough damage. You hear me? Anything else, it would have been really, really bad, okay? Anything else is looking like what it got physical, for real, y'all. So, there is like no even need to try to fix nothing. God won't even, God won't even allow you to um, receive any type of remorse. When it comes to the actions that was taken. That's just like if somebody is, all right, somebody is a, a killer, right? Or a serial killer. And they get locked up, right? The judge ain't going to just let them out the next day. But like morally they shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? You got to deal with those consequences so that where you know what happens or what will happen if you do that again. You got to be taught a lesson, just like everybody else. And this Queen of Wands, I just feel like, thought that she will never be taught a lesson. Literally. Oh, you are about to see the lesson being taught, baby, unfolding right in front of your eyes. And let me tell you, close cycle. She has to endure the same energy she put out. Literally going through the same chaos that she put y'all through. Spirit, what is the outcome and the um, advice? Look, this person is not stupid. All right, this hurt, this person, realized that they missed a lot of love and partnerships. They missed a lot of opportunities by being so short-term minded. Somebody was too focused on what could get them up for right now that they didn't even they they didn't even think that far into their skills. So when you got a mindset of greed, 
and of obsession with having more than everybody else. It's like you are already in a state of a loss. And it's stuck in nostalgia. Missing opportunities. Literally doing every good relationship. I'm speaking to somebody that this person, this queen of wands, fucked up all their relationships. Like they burnt all their bridges or they literally do not speak to a lot of people. This is the three of cups. So this could have been, you know, three different relationships that... They probably burnt bridges with because they probably, you know, make mistakes. And again, everybody make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? But a certain relationship came in or was initiated and it was given by God for them to correct the mistake with that relationship. And what did they do? The relationship that was sent in, however it was manifesting, whether it was a friend, whether it was somebody that was sent in to just give ease your mind, whether it was a therapist, whether it was a classmate, whoever, whatever it was, it was, it was sent in to give you another shot to correct the mistakes that may have happened to cause you to go through an ending with these other three that came, you know? And this person literally did the same exact thing that they did in the other relationships. This person has to be held accountable. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. Um, yeah, look. So a lot of you guys, you know the crazy thing is, this person know it's coming. Like, again, this Queen of Wands is very smart. They are very aware of what they're not supposed to do and what they're supposed to do and what's right and what's wrong. They are very aware of that. All right, so going through all the shit that they're going through right now, they already know it's coming from the action that they took. So, it's kind of a sense like, damn, I can't believe this shit is backfiring on me. But I'm really not shocked because I knew this was grimy. So, they in the energy of expecting it too because they knew this shit was so fucked up. You know what they did was fucked up. If they was already expecting something bad to happen to them or the results, they knew this shit was going to come back to haunt them. All right, so literally, this is playing out this week and shit is hitting the fan, all right? And you just stay put <laughs> in the hangman energy and mind your business. Get your tea and zip it. Okay? I love you guys and I'll go.